Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am back with some more making ephemera. I want to say hi and hugs to Suzanne, high school substitute, Carrie, and Jacqueline. Thank you so much for watching my channel and for your comments and everything. So today we say goodbye to this beautiful uh, journal full of ideas from um, Shell, the Ramblin' Crafter. And we're going to move on because we have we have done all the ideas in there. Not to worry though, we're going to start on this journal, which is also jam packed, and we still have this. <laughs> so, so many ideas yet to come, um, and the journal that we're going to look at right now. This one. Um, this one I bought on Etsy, and it's um, the the spines real jiggly, and the um, and the signatures aren't well in there. You see, they're kind of so. I've just I decided to use it as an idea book, which it's working perfectly for because it um, it I can just fill it to the max because these are so. Uh, wobbly that it just it works fine so anyway um I did love the cover of this journal though and that was that was why I bought it I just thought it was beautiful so anyway um and I because I'm saying it's not well made I'm not going to share the share the name of the of the journal maker okay so we have some new pieces in here that we're going to try so this um is a paint chip, which I have many of, <laughs> uh, but it looks like she maybe used one of these, one of these big ones. So I love the neutral ones. So we might work with that. Let's work with that. Um, I, these are also, um, these are from, these are Benjamin Moore ones. Boy, oh boy, they are like perfect journal and or pocket size, aren't they? So we'll grab out those couple and then, and then I wanted to make this also. So let's, let's start pulling out here. So that goes with this. This is super fun. This is, this is made with sandpaper. I had to go raid my husband's garage for sandpaper for this one. So, and then various other little things in the Tim Holtz guy. I, got, I have those at the ready. So we're ready there. And then I thought I'd pull out this one, which is done on corrugated cardboard, which I have left from doing the altered paper clip. So I thought those were the three that we might we might do, and if we have extra time, let me show you this. So I got this card. This came from my friend Eva at Truly All Supplies. And it's a beautiful card. It's got, um, it's got whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know what language that is, you can tell me. Um, and then uh, the same day I got this happy mail from Minxy that had these fun papers, but look at how beautifully they go together. So I'm thinking I might make another one of the, um, greeting card journals with this. So anyway, we might play with that if we have a little time. So let's just get started making some more ephemera. So much fun. Okay, so this is this. I've got I've got things flying in my room. <laughs> there was a fuzzy. Uh, my heat just came on, and so it just it landed. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm like I, I I. It's gonna take a little adjusting, but I had a couple people ask me to move in, and so I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna put these over that bright spot there okay so I'm I'm at an awkward unfamiliar angle but um, I do understand I always make my screen as big as I can on whatever device I'm on 
when somebody's working on small things. Excuse me, had to have a drink of water. Just went for a walk. I'll tell you about that in a second. Okay, let's get started. So we need scrap paper. We need little bits of um, ephemera, which I think my pal Tracy Fox can provide us. So that'll be good. Um, I don't know. I think I think what I'm going to do is just I I want a couple of colors. So I think I might just cut this off right here. Like that. This could be a tuck on this one. Oh, who knows? We might make more than one of these things because I do really like that um plane. Okay, what do I have for leftover Paper. Um, uh, just grabbing my bag, my bag of leftover papers. Um, maybe a little of that. Got a lot of, or maybe a little of that. Coffee dyed stuff. Ooh, maybe we should, instead of using the big one, we'll use that one. And then, well, I just saw another one I liked. Kind of with it. Okay, okay. That should do it for scrap paper. Okay. And then we'll just play from there. We will, we will. Okay, so this curvy thing is going to be interesting, isn't it? Might have to glue that on and then just cut it, I'm thinking. This one's from, I think, from Home Depot. Okay, so I really need to stay on my mat. That's what I need to do because if I do anything where I'm used to doing things, you won't be able to see it. Talk it to me more than you about that. Um, so we just got home from a walk. We went out to the lake by that's basically on the other side of town, but you know, it only takes 15 minutes to get there. And, um, so that was fun. We not, we saw two ducks. <laughs> Usually we see geese and all sorts of things, geese and turtles and, you know, all sorts of other birds, nothing, but you know, we're supposed to have this big storm that's supposed to be hitting us. And so I said to my husband, maybe Maybe the animals are smarter than we are and they realize that it's coming. But it was beautiful while we did our walk. It was, um, it was uh, sunny and it was lovely, actually. I kind of love this paper. Um, anyway, that was kind of a nice little... It's nice to get out and get some fresh air, especially since my craft room is in the basement. <laughs> you know, I can I can get pretty pretty sheltered down here where I'm just kind of yeah, I really want to use a little bit of this too. So let's um maybe how about like a strip across the top? I know I'm not following this one very closely but but maybe kind of like that I like that so um so anyway I was like oh well all the animals have taken shelter or are have headed south <laughs> or something because they weren't at the lake but it was so quiet that was weird too um the uh the um 
water was just like glass and you could really hear pretty much nothing it was a little eerie almost okay well there's that then it looks like a little a little bit of paper uh, what do I want to say? Book page. Okay, you know I'm going for the big guns here. Let's see, maybe we can make some room. Kind of set this over here. You're not going to see it because I'm all zoomed in and it's off camera. But let's see, let's get some book page here. Do a little bit of that. So we're, we're playing it by ear. We're supposed to travel tomorrow to my granddaughter's volleyball, but I'm just going to see how the weather is when we kind of, when we get up in the morning and decide at that point. Okay. So I feel like we've got a pretty good background. Maybe I'll put this little piece just kind of right there and then so basically what it is is collaging on a paint chip isn't it okay um now I was thinking that Tracy let's see Tracy's littles are not in there they're in here I have a whole folder for Tracy all by herself but I have her littles right here in this one so let's see what we would like to do. So we could put this little ticket on there. That'd be cute. Um, I like this report card, but you know what I think I'm going to grab is... I think it's in this one my some of my things from my ephemera kits oh yeah there we go there we go there they are what's this red one that's kind of fun and then we could just and then we could put a butterfly right there and it'd be very similar to the original let's let's look for a butterfly Um, ooh. Yep. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. I love it. Oops. Lost myself a little something there. Okay. So I do think I want to distress the edges of these just because I didn't cut them super well. There's white showing, you know. So you guys, thanks for telling me that you could still see the thumbs up and thumbs down on my um, videos. I don't know if all of you could, but some of you could. I don't know why that would be. Why? Because I did turn it off on my end. And so the good news there is I can't see them. <laughs> and that was, that was the main objective was I was just tired of seeing those dumb thumbs down. Oh. I understand I'm not for everyone. I truly do. I am still, you know, in all manner of shock that anybody watches my channel. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know how. Like, when I get happy mail from someone and then they put a thumbs down, it makes me so mad. It's like... Don't you realize you're not thumbs downing me? You're thumb down, thumbs downing the people who were so kind and generous. You know, I just think, I think you two body get rid of those. Because it's just, I mean, why really? There we go. Okay. So very similar. Wouldn't you say? Now, can you see those well now that I've zoomed in? You can see them better, can't you? Oh, but there's that darn... See, I have my one, um, my one ought light over there and it shine. Th that's part of the reason I shift to this side, but then my arm doesn't reach. 
So, you know, it's a work in progress. Okay, so I do think I will give this a little bit of distressing. Okay. So, original and the one we made. So there we go. Boy, that's a that's a fairly quick one to make. Maybe we'll make some more of those. We'll see. Okay, but then let's go to this one, which how fun is this? So um, uh, again, now that we're in a different book and we're looking at different things, be sure and if you watch the video and you see something that was your idea that you sent me, please own it. Please tell us. That way, we know who the creative soul is. Okay, so we're going to cut this piece of... I know it doesn't need to necessarily be the same size, but I like this size, so I thought I would emulate it. Well, that'll sure... <laughs> that'll sure chew up your lead and your pencil in a quick hurry, won't it? So basically, we're going in half with this. And then I'm going to go right along there. And we'll save these pieces to do something else with at some point. Or maybe another, maybe another one if we have time. Okay, so we need a rather, a rather plain piece of background paper, which I'm looking. Hang on, guys. Ooh, I like this one. It's a Timmy. It's a Timmy Holtz. I mean, it's got bugs on it, but I still like it. So let's cut it right about here and right about here. And I'm just cutting with my scissors because doesn't have to be perfect, right? Let's see. Where's my mark? There it is. I think that's it. Trying to do it straight. Ish. <laughs> okay, so there's that. That's nice. And okay, that was in the paper that, um, that measuring tape was in the paper, but I'm about to sneeze. It's coming. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mm, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> excuse me. Maybe it's my maybe it's my focus diffuser. <laughs> maybe I got maybe I added a little too much focus. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all, all sorts of messed up here. Okay. But we could put, I wonder if I have, I'm looking in my Tim Holtz. Oh yeah, how about this? I, I was looking in my Tim Holtz washi tapes. How about this? We'll kind of use it instead of so I think I'm gonna have to use Fabri-Tac probably to um, paste down the paper don't you think? Let's let's get a little extra glue on this washi. Okay Yeah, it's kind of fun to decide on, um, you know, different things that would give a similar look. Okay, let's, oh goodness, I'm so sorry. My nose is bugging me between the fall things that are in the air, I suppose, and 
my diffuser. I hope I'm not allergic to my diffuser. That would be horrible. I need it for focus. Okay, so let's see how that works. I don't know. We might have to clamp it or something. Nope, it's gluing down just fine. It's probably really sticking well to that um, bumpiness, you know. Okay, so we have a little bit of cloth behind, and then we have a word. Now, I have, I have this, depending on how big of a word we use. Do I have any words in here? Besides, somebody said, you're always reaching above yourself. There it is. You're always reaching above yourself. It's like you're pulling things out of thin air. I am. Did I forget to tell you I was magic? <laughs> no, I'm really not. <laughs> I'm just... Okay, I think I what I'm going to do is kind of offset mine a little bit like that. This will need to have itself. I'm going to just tear it down that side a little bit and this side a little bit. That's a little, a little bit too straight. And then give it a little edge. Okay, and then put that there. And then there's a little, little piece, I don't want red really, a little piece of fabric. Ooh, this is perfect right here, if I can get a hold of it. To put right there. And then we need a Tim Holtz guy and look, a little embroidery floss. I've got, I've got some really neat yarns here that someone sent in Happy Mail. Can't find the end of it, however. Oh, there it is. Okay. I think this is some kind of hand spun yarn actually. So I'm going to just go around my fingers like that. And that's going to come out the side. And then we're going to put the little Tim Holtz person there. So I'm thinking we need to find us a Tim Holtz person things over for a moment. Let's get rid of this. Okay. So medium size. Sorry guys, I still haven't sorted out my small, medium, and large people. <laughs> oh, look at this little dude. I like him. Oh, but he's attached to his mother. He would have been cute. Okay. Let's see who, just want one. I love this little dude, but he's, he's too small, but he's so cute. There's this little girl, it's adorable. She's too big. <laughs> I really do need to sort them, don't I? Are you guys just rolling your eyes at me? Like the ones I'm liking are attached to other people, and I only want one person. I know I could have figured this out prior to starting the video, and that may have been preferable, but I wasn't that. Oh, I love this little dude. That's the one. See, that didn't take super long. <laughs> Okay, 
All right, so then we're just gonna get these laid down here. I'm gonna go ahead and use Fabri-Tac just because we've got we've got fabric, we've got we've got fabric, we've got paper, we've got card stocky stuff, the stuff that the little boy is made out of. Okay, and then here we're just gonna put this other fabric. Okay, and then these, I'm hoping that when I put down the little boy, it just will Oh, his legs are going to stick down and not be on. Okay, he's a little big, but I think he'll be okay. I'm just going to need to wipe the glue off of his legs. Got a little glue happy. I did. I got a little glue happy. That's the trouble with close-ups. So you guys can see how grody my mat has gone <laughs> because while we've been making the ephemera. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. So now um, I do think I'm going to clamp that just while I'm getting the next bit ready. Just going to clamp it down on that. Um, On that yarn as much as I can okay so now what we need is this guy oh I'm gonna need another grommet which of course I forgot to grab happily most things in my craft room are like two steps away from me so that's a good thing um I think I might do little copper one on that. Okay. All right. So here we go playing with our chomper again. Okay. Need to do the hole. Which we're going to put about right about there. And now push that until it clicks. There's the trick there. And I'm going to stick this up and then push down. Perfect. I have all of a sudden become like the grommet put her on her of all days. Okay, now I need a bulb pin, which I don't know if I have one handy. Look, look. Nope, nope, nope. I actually, I have this bulb pin and it's got a couple things on it. Came in the Happy Mail, no doubt. Little King. Maybe he's the king of kind. I love that. We need that in our world. Little king of kind. And it's got a little fun, um, little fun bit hanging off of it. Let's see if we can get it to hang properly. There we go. Yay. I am super happy with that. I think that is adorable. Okay. So this was the sandpaper piece of ephemera here. And then this is the one that we made. Let's see if I can leave that over there. 
Isn't that so cute? I love it. That turned out really fun. Okay. So that's piece of ephemera number two. Now number three is bits of paper, fabric, lace, and a little Tim Holtz figure. And it's just, it's, um, it's like a cluster because nothing, oh, I guess that back piece is glued down, but it's just like stapled right there. And then there's a little star right there. So let's see how we can do. I have this little piece that was from when we were doing the paper clips. And, you know, you could totally put a paper clip on the back of there, easy peasy, and it could be a paper clip if you wanted to. Okay. Um, I'm thinking about this and thinking, is this the one that has, yeah, um, it's got a piece that's, and stamped and I was kind of looking at what I might have have there got these little B ones it's a bit big but I could tear it down right but I, I just stamped that on there um, let's try it just for just for to try um okay i need to cut it a little bit and then i don't know i don't know how this will rip the best yep i'm gonna have to take it off the paper so this is some of that awesome muslin from three insistent dogs that she has on um it's on freezer paper I believe I don't know how she does it but it's cool okay I'm gonna have a little bit off here it's not gonna rip I'm gonna just have to cut it don't know if this will rip It's all fun and spiky. I like it. Okay. So I really like that. Um, I've got some fabric up here that we can use. And we need... Um, we need paper for the back one, kind of. I'm thinking about thinking about this. Exactly the right size and everything. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> I think I'm gonna have to well well We'll put it on here and see how it goes. I think what I'll do is go this way because then it will grab the, the ridges, the bumps, whatever. Let's see, put you here. I'm thinking of putting it kind of hanging down a little bit. I need it hanging off this edge. The only thing about the corrugated cardboard ephemera truly is that it is um, thick, you know. So, um, you know, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a thick piece once you're done. Okay, I am gonna I'm gonna glue mine a bit. And these might be, I can't tell. I think 
maybe it's just the Tim Holtz girl that has been um, stapled on there. I don't know. A little extra goop never hurts. <laughs> Words to live by. Okay. So we'll just... Now she, they have one more piece of something, another piece of paper or something under there. I might like a bit of a bit of words. Gosh, my husband's going inside and out. I don't know. Can't imagine what he's doing because it's not nice outside. <laughs> Oh, guess what sad happened? And it's kind of a story. So my husband was out working in his garden yesterday. And he actually texted me, but of course I was filming and so I didn't get it. <laughs> but I got the text later and it said, come to the garden if you can. Well, I didn't get there. And so he, I go upstairs finally and he says, he says, oh my gosh, look what ran out at me while I was digging up potatoes. It was a, it was a vole. Oh, they're so icky. <laughs> I don't like rodents. So anyway, so anyway, yeah, he had a vole run out of him and he killed it, but he went to dig up his potatoes and I am not kidding you. Every one of them were eaten either in small or large degree eaten those doggone voles they just did it they did it there's the baby again that's kind of cute but I don't think I want the baby um yeah so can you believe that he spent all summer nurturing along those potatoes and they are all ruined he was sad. I was sad for him because that's his hobby. That's like if I came to my room and found that someone had had ruined all my journals or something. There's that cute little boy. He's super cute, isn't he? I think we'll do him. Yeah. So anyway, my poor husband, he worked all summer for that garden and then, and then with the teeth of a vole. <laughs> I can see why she stapled that because he's going to be hard to glue because it's all bendy. Okay, where's Mr. Tiny Attacher? Do it right at his belt line. Sorry, dude, that couldn't have felt good. <laughs> I got it a little low. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm delirious. Okay, so there's the one that was in our examples, and there's the one we made. Oh, I think he's cute. I'm happy with him too. Okay, where are we at time wise? We've done three pieces of ephemera, fam which is awesome, and we've got about 20 minutes left. I think. Let's do, let's do another couple. Let's just, let's just keep playing for a little bit. Okay, so I loved how this one came out. So let's try, to, let's do another one of those. So I'm gonna kind of cut this in half-ish. In half-ish? It's not quite in half. We need to have enough room to maneuver, don't we? I'll cut it right along that line that I can see. Okay. And then I was thinking, what about, what if we used some of this Timmy paper? Do we want to use that side or do we want to use this? I kind of like this side. How about that with the plants? 
Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so, well, if at least if I work with plants, I'm not stapling them in their nether regions. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm probably gonna get kicked off of YouTube. <laughs> okay, <laughs> pull it together, Gail. So right here. Okay, and we'll ink it up. Might as well use up some of these um, some of these scraps I created over here, right? And I just I just want to keep playing these are fun this was a fun batch they've all been fun I'm super excited to have this big old bin of things we've made and I've heard from a lot of you that you are just crafting right along with me so that's super fun because you will have a bunch of ephemera to use too Okay. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Now, do we want to use the same? Maybe we want to use... I'm thinking of a washi tape with flowers on it instead of the measurement. Um, let me see what I have in my Tim repertoire. I had some thought return. No, nope, those are cigars. This one. Huh. I might be being too picky here. Gosh, I don't see it. But this one would be fun. I thought I had some flowery kind, but you know, from the wallflower collection, but I couldn't find it. So this has stamps on it. That'll be kind of fun. I'll cut that little piece. <clears throat> yeah, so I need to do a very short video with a couple of pieces of information for the um, meet and greet in Denver because I need to get that on get that on and this will be this will actually be airing it might be the day of I think I think that's where I'm too because I am getting ahead I am doing it you'll never know I was gone <clears throat> Okay, that gives it a little color. That was good. I liked that. Okay, so I should have another little piece of that kind of fabric. And I do. I've... Though I'm running low on it. It's sad. My friend Catherine sent me some more, but... there's that then we have to come up with a word I did like my kind don't know I'm trying to think where the rest of those are because <clears throat> I think that works just fine I just have to find them in my book oh look at that so good. We're so good. Okay. And maybe on this one, instead of a person, maybe we'd like to do a flower or a butterfly or something. Okay, 
so there's that and then we put that okay so we put that there and then we put a little square piece of fabric of some sort I don't know if that's still I moved it didn't I and you probably were being blinded by the light let's see what we have nope 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 Let's just use this piece of, I have a piece of lace. We could use that, right? It doesn't have to be fabric. Nobody said it had to be. And then, <clears throat> there's a tallness aspect that actually works best with a person and this little thing. So... My husband crashing through doors and stuff. She's too little. Too little. Just need one person and I I just have a lot of pairs oh let's how about this guy is he too big did we decide <clears throat> I think he'd be okay I just need to scoot him over a little bit okay let's do him Who would have thought of sandpaper? Somebody did. I can't remember. Was it you, Jeannie? I can't remember. So definitely speak up and say when these are your ephemera ideas so that we know. <clears throat> and sometimes they might be your piece but somebody else's idea but sometimes we don't always we don't always remember who's who okay so I'm thinking this color of string would be perfect for that I'm all sticky now everything's sticking to me my goodness it really is Excuse my arm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, when you get Fabri-Tac on your fingers, it's like all over. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stick him right there. And so I'm going to go head down to his ankles and not have the gluey mess this time. You'll have to let me know if I've done okay being on screen. I just I can't tell. It's just not how I'm used to filming. But if it makes it easier for you guys to see, that's a good thing. Hey, little dude. I'm going to clamp you. Until you're dry. Okay, did that one. Do we have time for one more, do you think? Oh, maybe. Maybe if we fly like the wind. Let's do... Okay, so that was that. And let's do... Let's do one of these paint chip ones because that was quick. We can actually do just use these papers that we used last time. Right? I think so. It does not matter. 
we're gonna have to back it with coffee dye paper aren't we yes that's another step we need to do to these is, is do coffee dyed paper on the back okay we can do that okay so here's the example again <clears throat> and now I'm gonna just do this side just cuz I think we'll just rip that and Okay. Find my glue pages here. I did get started on my little greeting card journal, did I? But you know, when you're in ephemera making mode, it's hard to switch gears. I'll do that another day. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm just kind of following the same pattern. Seemed to work well the first time. Let's see. Really liked this across the top, so let's do that again. Do this this time, and I think we'll just tear it. And I'm I'm gonna put this to the side, kind of. And then let's do a little bit of texty stuff. Okay. Ooh, that was too, it was too sticky. My book page disintegrated on it. <laughs> it's well past time for a new piece, I guess. All right. Whoopsie. Okay, so then what? Then what? Let's just use my ephemera again. That was kind of fun. I might like a bigger piece, but I don't think so. I'm going to put that there. And do I have another little one? I know I do. I know I do. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay. <clears throat> These are available in my three vintage ephemera kits in my Etsy, just FYI, in case you're interested. Liking that. Liking that. And then we'll put something kind of in the middle. 
what I didn't use is any of this. I think I'd like to. <clears throat> okay, let's put this down. Here. Did like that. Okay, and I'll put this here. Here, maybe up there a little bit, and then I want to put a butterfly, and I might have to. Oops, sorry. Um, I might have to do something here because I've gotten all sorts of little goobers from my ink makeup thing. Nice. What's this one like? Ooh, that's a big one. I think I like that one. Like the first one. And okay. And what to do? over here. Maybe let's see what it looks like when we distress it. Maybe it'll be all good. <laughs> Distressed a few other things along the way as it flies over. I like that. I think that is pretty. Okay. Fun. Now, um, those need backing. What time is it? Oh, we have a few minutes. How about if I just take a little piece of um, straw paper? And, you know, I have been collaging too but I have used up a lot of my plain scraps in my scrap bin and so I've just been using like one piece of something I mean I could sew around this I think I might sew around this I think that would give it even another little level of funness I think that could be really nice I probably won't I won't do that on camera as the glue will still be too wet, but okay. There we go. Okay, so that one is backed. And then we just need to do this one. Clump, 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 clump goes my husband. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, these two might be nice sewn around, I think. I think while I'm at it, I might sew around the one that was the example. <laughs> okay, let's see how we do here. Let's see, is it this way? Looks good, okay. Oops. Perfect. Awesome. 
Okay, so let's see what we did today, and we'll call this a video. Okay, so we had our paint chip one. We had our paint chip one, and then we made, just made this one. We made this one. All those are going to be sewn around. I think that would be nice. Um, then we had our example and we did that one we did that one i still need to punch a hole and do a bulb pin through that still need to do that okay and then this one was from the examples and this is the little guy that we did whoops try and get him not up in your face. So there we go, guys. Let's see. We made one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of, ephem of ephemera this time. Well, aren't we just so prolific? <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed, and we will just see you next time. Have a grateful day, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.